Hey what's up everyone, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Aquarium Assist Bacteria Balls from Real Aquatics. So let's start by taking a look at the packaging. It comes in a um, little plastic tub with a um, screw lid. And this here is the 1000 milliliter size, but they do do some other sizes as well. It reads, beneficial bacteria for your aquarium, contains millions of live bacteria and enzymes, boosts and feeds biological filters, Promotes a healthy and crystal clear aquarium and 100% fish safe. And unlike, um, usually when you buy these, they're normally clear, but um, you can get some, normally the cheaper ones are blue in colour, but it doesn't turn the water blue or anything, or if it does, then that goes away very quickly so you don't have to worry about that and um, it's got some instructions on the back so what these are for is um, for when you are first setting up a tank and you want to introduce the beneficial bacteria you would um, you would get these and then put them inside the filter um, and then that will um, that will uh, sort of jumpstart the nitrogen cycle. So let's have a look inside. It's got a little thing to stop it leaking out. But um, unfortunately, when this came, it did have the lid screwed on and it had some sellotape around it, but it still had leaked out a little bit. A little bit of the liquid had leaked out still. So that's a negative, but um, just as so long as you, that was just during shipping. But if you just keep them right, you won't get any of the liquid um, leaking out. Because um, when I first got this, it was probably about halfway up. It had the blue liquid in it, um, which has the bacteria suspended in it, just like in the balls. And when I first got it, I thought that... Um, like maybe some of these are like burst and they'd sort of, you know, leaked out. So I drained that out, but I wish I hadn't done that now because I think it's supposed, I think that that liquid is supposed to be in there um, sort of to, to sort of keep the the gel balls kind of suspended in the liquid and keep them submerged, I mean. So I think that's what it's in there for. So... Um, if you buy these, don't go draining the liquid out like I did. And then you can have a look in there and see what they look like. They're just like a soft kind of gel material. And I'd say um, when you're going to put these in your tank, I'd say to... Um, when you're going to put them in your filter, because you would put these in the filter to um, help the uh, bacteria colonise your media. Um, so you would put these inside your filter to help seed it. But um, I would recommend, um, if you could do that, um, don't just put them straight in the media compartment in the filter. What you want to do is get um, one of them little mesh bags that you can get the little nylon bags and then um, put them in that and then put them in the filter because because with these they don't um they don't sort of just break down um what they'll do is they shrink so they'll still be in there they don't completely like dissolve um they'll just like shrink and then when they're smaller like that they can get sucked up into the impeller so you if you just put them straight in your filter you could run the risk of possibly um blocking up the uh, impeller and uh, jamming that so um i definitely recommend putting them inside 
put them inside of um, a mesh bag and then put that in the filter. Or what you could also do is, um, what you could also do is um, say if you just have like a smaller filter, like an internal filter, um, what you could do is just um, get a bag of these and then just put the bag straight in the tank and that will do the same thing. It probably work a little bit slower, but it will still um, still seed the tank with the beneficial bacteria. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to click the like button and then subscribe to the channel if you're interested in catching future videos of mine. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.